Hey guys, it's Azalea Barclay, your video sales and marketing coach. Today, I wanna talk about something really, really cool. I'm gonna take you guys on the back end of thumbnails in Canva, cause they just added new effects that you should definitely be updated about. And yeah, let's get into it. Or if you wanna see this, definitely stay tuned. <laughs> Right, so there's a way that you can make your thumbnails pop and previously we couldn't do this in Canva. So I used to use a bit of a workaround, but now I can actually use something absolutely amazing that they released earlier this week, I believe. So let's get into it. Okay, so you can see here that I actually have an outline around this picture, but before what I would have to do is I would have to um, duplicate the picture and change the color of the one in the back and then put the layer the top one like it was just a lot but that outline on your pictures really makes your picture pop right now the cool thing is that now in Canva we are able to do that with one of their new features and I use the glow feature for it so I'm able to remove the background so you guys know I have a full video on background removal in Canva I have a full playlist with a bunch of Canva videos that you should check out if you're a business owner you're a creator you're somebody that is looking to create workbooks and all of that jazz but we can now use the background remover remove the background and then and put that beautiful outline around the picture. All right, so now that we have the background all removed, I am just gonna make sure I line it up so that choppy bottom of this photo does not show. And now I'm going to add the glow, right? So I'm gonna make sure that the picture is as big as I want it to be, although the glow changes the sizing, so be patient with it. But what I'm gonna do now is click on the picture to highlight it and then I'm gonna click effects. When I click effects, I can then search all the way down. So you'll see smart mockups, you'll see duotone, you'll see different things. And those things never really interested me, but what got me is the shadows, right? So I never found interest in the others, but shadows definitely got me. And instead of drop or angle or curved or all the other amazing ones they have, and I will create another tutorial on how you can use the others, I can definitely see because I'm a course creator and I teach other course creators. And so because of that, oh my gosh, the visuals of computers and notebooks and things like that, we can play in there all day. So definitely subscribe if you wanna see more content like this, if you're not subscribed already. But listen, I'm gonna add some glow to this. And so, see, I told you it would change the sizing of the photo, be patient, but that glow is going to appear. And if you would like, you can adjust it by clicking on the same icon. You can see those buttons on there. So I would click it twice so that I can get into the glow. Now. The default for glow is black, so you would need to change it to whatever color you like. For me, I wanted to change it to white, and you can see that it starts showing up a little bit. But you know me, I like doing the most. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna change those settings, and we can play around with them. You can change the size of the glow, right? So it comes default black, but you can change it to whatever color you desire. So I'm gonna change it over to white because that's the glow that I want. And you can change the size, like you can see it keeps getting bigger and bigger. Um, another thing is I wanted my transparency because I wanted it to, I wanted my transparency to be up because I, I didn't like how light it was when it wasn't. So, you know, I want a bigger glow around there. And you can also adjust the blur. So you can have it like really blurry, you know, like feathered out, or you can re, um, you know, take the, the, the blur down. So for me, I wanted the blur up, but I also wanted the size up a bit so that you can see that I am glowing, okay? <laughs> and and um, I bumped up my transparency a bit as well, but feel free to bring it down. Like, feel free to have it be an outline, more of just an outline. So you can see that here, I brought down the size, but the transparency is up and the blur, blur is a little bit above midway. And you can uh, make this bigger or as big as you would like. I think that us having that uh, 
outline around a picture just makes things pop so much more so i hope that you are able to then create your own like you know i think that it just makes a huge difference uh as it pertains to our uh pictures and our thumbnails like these these things are really really super important so i hope that you will be using uh you know the glow tool on your thumbnails as well to outline your pictures i think this is such a game changer canva is definitely on the forefront of um, changes and adding features and things like that that um, just make a difference so if you want to check out the rest of my canva videos like i said before i will link that playlist down below all right guys that is how you can make your pictures pop you definitely want to make sure that you're using the glow feature in canva so you get that beautiful outline and it just makes your thumbnail stand out some more you also want to make sure you're using your face on your thumbnail i don't know if you know that but it definitely gets people to click a bit more on uh, you know, so that they can hear what you have to say. Thumbnails are super important. So you want to take these tips and implement them. If you're not subscribed just yet, I would love if you subscribe to us and head down below to join my exclusive Facebook group, the Star Shoot Grow Facebook group, where we really connect and communicate about using video in your online business. I will see you guys around the internet. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.